Hey y'all, I'm Michael from the Kids Library. What we're going to do in this video today is first I'm going to show you Tinkercad, which is the website that we use for making and editing 3D designs, and then we're going to do a front project in it. So we can get to it by typing in tinkercad.com, or you could search it online. And if you've ever taken a 3D printing class here before, you've used it, but now it's going to be a little different since we're not in the library. If you already have a Tinkercad account, you can just press the sign in button, but I'm going to show you how you would sign up for an account with Tinkercad, which most of you will probably have to do. But, and this is important, when you do this, you're going to need to have a parent or adult with you to sign you up for the account. And so they are going to click on Join Now, and then they're going to click on Create a Personal Account, and then Sign Up with Email, and then your parent would put in their birth date. and then they would put in their email and then you would they would make a password for the account and then let's see after you sign up when you first hop into Tinkercad a tutorial is gonna pop up you can do it if you want to but you don't need to since I'll be going over the basics of using Tinkercad in a second now that we've created an account and we're in Tinkercad we can go over how some stuff in Tinkercad works when we want to make something new, and I already have a bunch of designs on my account, you won't have any when you make it, we can go to the big blue button, Create New Design. And that gives us a big space to start making things in. Now we can start putting stuff in it. On the right side of the screen, there's a menu that includes a bunch of different shapes, and so those are what we are going to be working with today. To put a shape in our work plane, we can just click on it and then drag it to wherever we want it. We can put that over there, get a cylinder, get a sphere, get a cone. Um, yeah, a bunch of different stuff. There's a heart. Now that we've got our shapes down, let's see the different ways we can move them around and change their size and shape. So let's try with the cube. So first we got to select it. All I had to do was left click once and you can move it by clicking and dragging. And so you'll notice how when I moved it closer you can see all these little black dots, rectangles all around the shape. And if you dr click and drag those around you can change the shapes, make it bigger or smaller, like I take this corner and now, oh, now it's like that, and then make it taller. And so now our cube is more like a pillar. And you can do stuff like that with other shapes too. Cylinder, for example, you could flatten it down and make it into a really big disc, or even this little old sphere, if you mess around with it enough can make it into a big old watermelon. And so we just start out with these basic shapes, but if you play around enough with these and you got some imagination, you can make them into a million different things. The last thing I want to show before getting started on our project is how the camera works. This is a 3D workspace, so we can look at the shapes from like all different points of view. And so there's two ways to move around the camera. The way I always use is to right click anywhere around here hold right click and then just kind of drag around until I find the right spot or the right angle I'm looking for. And there is the other way is the small cube in the upper left hand corner over here. So you can left click once on part of that cube and it will give you say the front view, you can do the right view and then this is back and then you can do top and then you can do bottom and then you can click all these little corners too they're they're a bit hard to see but there we go and so you can also just um do the same thing like clicking and dragging if you left click hold and then you can drag that little cube around and if you want to zoom the camera in and out there's also two ways if you have a mouse, which makes Tinkercad much easier to use on laptops and Chromebooks if you can get one, you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. If you can't get one or scrolling's not working too well for you, there are two buttons on the side here below that cube that zoom in 
and zoom out. They're a little hard to see, they're kind of faint. And um, so zooming in and out while you're moving that camera around is really great for spotting, you know, like making sure details are correct on your project. It gets you lots of different perspectives. All right, let's head on over to our design that we're going to make. Tinkercad saves automatically, so we don't have to worry about saving, thankfully. If you want, you can rename the project. Uh, Tinkercad likes to make these funny little names. It generates them for everything. But to get back to the Tinkercad dashboard, you just, in the upper left-hand corner, click on the Tinkercad logo. And then here we go. All right, so today we're going to be designing and customizing your own coin, or you can make it a medallion. So I've got an example set up here. You can see the different stages we have for the project. When we're done with the coin, you we will move on to this center part where we start customizing it. And then at the end, if you want to make it a medallion, you can add this little second ring there so you can thread a ribbon through. And I'll run through each step of it, and then I'll list the measurements for each piece. But before we get started on it, there's a bit of bad news. I know, I have bad news too. Me and bad news, we are not close friends. So unlike our previous 3D printing classes we had in person at the library, we are not gonna be able to print these out right now. We're not totally sure when we'll be able to. So you'll still have the print saved in the Tinkercad account. So as soon as the library is able to accept print requests, you can send it. The nice upside though, is that the Makery is using the 3D printers for making equipment like face shields that they can donate to Elmhurst Hospital. So they are making these and it's actually really cool. Okay, first let's get this out of the way. And then we wanna get our first piece started. We are going to drop in a tube shape. If you scroll down in basic shapes, it will be there towards the bottom. And so now we have our tube and we want it to be precise dimensions, certain length, certain width, certain height. So if we click on the little corner square here, it'll bring up the numbers. And so I can change this and it's 20 right now. We want it to be 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters. And then if we click the top one here, we can make the height a certain height and we want it to be four millimeters. All right, so we got our two piece. Now we want to drop in a cylinder piece. And so, just like the tube, we want it to be a certain length, a certain width, and a certain height. So, just like the tube, it's going to be 40 millimeters wide, and then 40 millimeters long. And then, we want the height to be shorter than 4, then we want it to be 2 millimeters. There we go. Okay, so now we have our tube and we have our cylinder. And so what we're going to do now is we are basically just going to drag that tube so that it goes through part of the cylinder and then part of that tube still kind of comes out on top since it's taller than the cylinder. And if it's hard to drag it onto it, it, it is actually pretty hard. You can use the um, arrow keys to move the shapes in small amounts it's really helpful and so then what we want to do after that is we are going to group these two pieces together and what that does is it just basically makes it one shape so we are going to select both of them by left clicking and then we're going to drag our mouse so we have both of them selected we're just going to hit the group button up here and so it makes it one shape all right, so now we are going to be able to customize our coin or medallion. So let's drag the text from basic shapes. And then let's say we may want to do a star too. And so, and um, if you want to make two, you could go for it. You can, so it's like copying text. You can just do control C when you have it selected and then control V. Or you can use the copy buttons up here. All right. So let's try the star, and we want to get it 
four millimeters high, just like that tube. But then these don't have these don't have to be terribly precise. You can do I always do twenty by twenty just to make sure it fits in there. And let's try it. Easy. And now I'm gonna group it like I did before. There we go. Done. And now let's try the text. So the text is a little weird. You can actually change a couple of things with it. So you can change the fonts, thankfully. And let's try. I haven't really been able to fit more than two letters in there, so you could try your initials or just high like I did. All right. Uh, we want it to be four millimeters tall. We want it to be about 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. There we go. And now it's going to fit right in there. There we go. All right. Okay, now if we want to make it into a medallion, we're going to drag out a second tube shape. We're going to click that corner again, get the measurements. We're going to make it 10 millimeters wide, 10 millimeters long, and then four millimeters high. There we go. It's a little small, but that's why we want it there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we have our thing there, and we're just going to drag it onto our coin. And half of the tube should be in the coin, half should be out. So, there we go. And now, just like before, we're going to select it all and then we're going to group it. And then we can do the same for this one. Tough. I'm going to use the arrow keys again to help me. And there we go. Half it's in, half it's out. I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to hit group again. And we are all set. Alright everyone, I hope you all had fun and learned some stuff on Tinkercad. Sorry we couldn't meet in person and sorry you won't be able to print these out right now. But um, in the meantime, I hope it encourages you to make some 3D designs of your own. And have an awesome day.